I've got the horn knocks on this now and I've put on a different string, it's still a long string, it's adjusted slightly, it's just got smaller knocks so it sits better at the end. Still a low brace but I'm actually taking about a half inch off each tip because it was rather a long bow and the guy I'm making it for he's perhaps a whisker shorter than me. Uh, I've taken quite a lot off the belly, especially the outers, trying to get it coming round a bit more. We're still nowhere near there. I think we're probably about 125-ish. I just want to have another good review, look if the tiller's looking better, so I know where to start taking some more off. Because I don't want to start sort of fiddling and, you know, I want to be able to take a decent, give it a good decent rasping along the belly, else you end up moving so slowly you never get there. But conversely, I don't want to take a load of wood off in the wrong place. So a quick review, then hopefully one more session and I'll get it pretty much there. Then it will be the final fiddling and fettling. The dip there, that feature is almost totally removed now as the bow's got thinner. It's all looking smoother and more even. Just give it a good workout so I can move quite a bit of wood. That's pulling it to 90, I'll set that 90 at about 23. There we go, 100 at about 25. Let's give that a bit more. Give it a few more. solid under at 25 which probably interpolates to like 120 125 so I've probably got a fair bit to take off it still but I can review this see where I want to take it off and then get stuck in I'll leave it braced while I review the video it just gives it a chance to sort of settle down there's no point measuring a bow freshly strung and thinking oh it's 100 pounds when in fact after being strung for half an hour it's dropped a few. Pulling the bow on the tiller is all well and good for looking at it but sometimes you can't really see what's bending. I mean this looks as if this section's a bit stiff, maybe stiff at this sort of knot, this um, undulation there. But a good trick is actually to look along the limb as you flex it. Now I don't know if this is going to show up on the video, but if we get right up here like this and look along the limb, I'll take a big handful of rope. Let's see what we can see. Right, I reviewed that video and to me it was looking stiff in this section, particularly there when I looked along the limb. Also a bit stiff where this knot undulation is. So I left it braced and set to work taking a good bit off the belly on this upper limb. Uh, I'll take some more of that one later but I thought have a quick look. So on the one hand I want to take a lot of wood off, but on the other hand I want to keep checking. I used a farrier's rasp. That's quite a vicious tool. That will take off decent, a decent amount of wood fairly quickly. But I did the sums and it looks like it's about 128 pounds. So if I want to go down to 100, I've got to take 30 pound draw weight off near enough. So I'm not going to fiddle arse around get stuck in with a big rasp but keep checking it's it's that balance 
Make haste slowly, grasshopper. But let's have a look. Can we see any difference? It was 125, and now I find it's probably 125 still. But will it look different? There we go, 100, my, what's technically called? I don't know, we're nearly 26. Yeah. I was going to say it's what's technically called bugger all difference. But the difference it will have made will be hopefully the shape of the tiller, which you should be able to see. That was a good go with the farrier's rasp that takes off, you know, this sort of stuff. You know, a decent amount of wood. But of course, if you take a millimetre off there, that's, well, one millimetre in 35, which is something or other percent. If you take one millimetre off this end, that's a much greater percent. So you, you've got to balance your work. In fact, we're getting, at this end, you can see, we're getting a bit low on heartwood. So I might actually feather the, the sapwood a little bit more. So I like to see it about 50-50. This is going to be longer than the usual video. Perhaps I should have a break in there for adverts. Right, there you go.